Look at that, guys. I'm always looking. I'm always looking for the cars I've never seen before. This is about a 1940, I would say, or 41 Chrysler. It looks like a, a Windsor or a New Yorker. I'm not sure. It's a New Yorker, a top of the line, man. Top of the line. The New Yorker had only been around, if I'm not mistaken, since 39, actually. It's actually funny to see this car because a couple of weeks ago I was in the St. Anne de Bellevue area and there, there was a Chris Craft 1941 and those cars came with inline Chrysler motors. And here from the same period, look at that over there, there is a Divco truck that I did a video of last year. Or did it get deleted? I think it got deleted. I don't know, I saw it in Granby, I filmed a whole bunch of cars and some of them were deleted, unfortunately the video, I don't know what happened. Oh, look at this kid. How could you not be happy in being such a classic pedal car like that? Anyway, whatever. What does it say here? Retromobile. Yeah, that's a company. It's an excellent day for a classic car show. I can tell you. Oh, imagine piloting this baby down the road. Wow, this is great timing or this kid crying. Maybe I'll... Uh, Maybe I'll put music over this or something. Forget about all of it, you know? Yeah, just a lovely machine, eh? And you had your part over here. It served as some sort of a fender guard. They did that, of course, until these the fenders that came out. Look at that, eh? It's got a company plate on it. Gee, that's funny to see those folks over here. See those people over there? Acidic juice. Yeah, it's, I was thinking about that walking over here and I'm thinking to myself, hey, this is a lot of this is where the acidic juice community is here in Outremont in Montreal, and I never see them at this show, and there they are. So. So there you go. This center tail light, it must work, I imagine. Ah, uh, Chrysler Fluid Drive, which was a uh, semi-automatic transmission, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of too bad for yours truly that all these people are set up here like this. But that's how it is sometimes. Better than nothing, eh? Better than nothing. Let's get a look here. Beautiful automobile. Wouldn't mind meeting the owner and knowing the history of it, you know? Knowing something about it. This is where your fuel goes right here. Of course, uh, there's a good chance that the engine's heads were not converted to accept unleaded fuel, so you have to put a, a lead additive. Look at that, eh? Does that reek Art Deco 1940s or what? Amazing. But did the wood really look like that? I don't know if I've ever seen a, a car from the 40s that had a kind of a wood wood uh, wood like that. I don't know what kind of wood that is. That's amazing. Anyway, it's oh yeah, it's totally restored. Totally restored. Look at those seats. They don't show anywhere. What a fantastic automobile. What a very nice surprise. I love all Chrysler's, of all Elks, all years, all models. I mean, of course, that's the case with, you know, most American cars, but not all of them. I mean, you know, I don't like everything. Look at that. See that alone? Art Deco period. Beautiful. Never make this again. I always say that, but it's true. I want to emphasize that because everything today is just, it's just get it out there as quickly as possible to make money, you know? This is in your car, eh, sir? No. It's too bad. I wanted to know some things about it. Well, take it for a ride. I don't mind. <laughs>